Hey, what's up guys, Danny here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the gaming performance of the Intel Core i5-6600K when overclocked to 4.6GHz, and compare it to what we can obtain from its stock speed which operates at a processor base frequency of 3.5GHz and has a max turbo frequency of up to 3.9GHz when under load. Now this video is going to be different from my other video where I took synthetic benchmarking programs such as Cinebench and W' to showcase the difference in the performance of this chip at different operating speeds. The link to that video will be down in the description below. However, as I mentioned, in that video those applications don't really reflect any real world scenarios. And so that is why I made this video to show exactly how much of a performance boost you get in gaming, what PC gamers are actually interested in. It will also answer the question of whether overclocking is worth it or not. Is overclocking a fair enough trade-off for a performance boost at the cost of higher temperatures and power? So for my test methodology, I used a few demanding titles that have been released over the past couple of years. I ran these games with the processor at stock, and then again when overclocked, and I achieved some interesting results. But before I show you the benchmarks, I will first go over the system that, will be, that I will be using to conduct this test. So for our test system, I will be using the same rig that I featured in my previous video, where I showcased my 2015 gaming slash workstation setup. The link for that video will be in the description down below. If you haven't already seen it, definitely do check that out. The specifications for the test system consist of the following. For the CPU, I have the Intel Core i5-6600K processor. This is based on Intel's 6th generation Skylake architecture. For our CPU cooler, we have a Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. And for our motherboard, we have a Gigabyte G1 Z170 Gaming 7. For the RAM, I went with a pair of G-Skill Ripjaws V-Series 2x4 kit, running at 2800 MHz. For the graphics card, we have a MSI Radeon R9 390. For the storage, our system has a SanDisk Ultra 2 480GB solid state drive, and two Western Digital 1TB hard drives. Powering the whole system, we have an EVGA Supernova 750W G2 80 plus gold power supply. And finally for the case, I went with the Corsair Carbide Series Speco 2 which will provide ample airflow to, throughout the entire system. Now that I went over the specs of the test system, let's jump right into these benchmarks so you can see the results for yourself.
and there you guys have it. From the results, we can see that only a few titles significantly benefited from having an overclocked processor such as Hitman Absolution, Shadow of Mordor, and Grand Theft Auto V. Games such as Metro Last Light Redux and Rainbow Six Siege only, sl only slightly showed an improvement, which means those games are more GPU bound. The rest of the results showed that games had an overall average increase of 7 frames per second. So now that you have seen what kind of a difference overclocking your processor can make, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it to you? If you're someone that plays many open world games with large maps and many on-screen characters, having an overclocked CPU will be beneficial to you. If you play games that are more GPU bound, you more than likely won't see a big difference. There are also many other factors involved in this topic too, not just gaming. You have to also make sure that you have a cooler that can keep the processor cool under load, and if your power supply can handle that extra power draw. Well, that is all I have today for today guys. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please hit that like button. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.